Hello my lovely viewers and you're welcome to another wonderful episode of This Week in Nigeria on Genius Radio TV and I'm your fabulous, fabulous diva I'm saying you can. You know this is where I bring to you every major thing that has happened in Nigeria over the past one week. Anything hot, anything trending from sports to politics to entertainment. Ah. Gotcha. Naramali is still in the EFCC custody. He hasn't been released yet. You know, Naramali was arrested on the 10th of May on his birthday alongside five others, which included Zilata and Ibile. But Zilata and other three were released on the fact that they found nothing incriminating on them. Zilata was released while Naramali was kept in custody because of the things they found in his possession. So he was found with credit cards that wasn't it. Is just all the English that they are speaking. Mm, the phone is the fact that he was involved in cyber crime, which is called Yahoo Yahoo. That he is a Yahoo boy, though he was asking us if he was a Yahoo boy. Now, his management put out a statement saying that he is actually just a, an upright citizen, that he didn't actually or is not involved in all the cyber crimes. But then, all the things found in his possession are really incriminating, and then the EFCC are coming up with the big guns for him. But then, the thing about this is, you know, this is issues the fact that. He is alone. Nobody is really, no celeb is really coming out to, you know, help him or, you know, see anything on like ever that celebs that when they, something happens to them, everybody's coming out in mass to help them to say this, you know, say that. But then it doesn't like he's just alone in the cooking pot. Nobody is saying anything to help him or to get him out of it. But everybody's just keeping quiet, except for his fans that are coming out, you know, say release Naramali, release Naramali and all that, you know, play, raising placards going to ESC office to get this uh, to ask them to release Nara Mali. I can actually imagine what this would do for his career alone. Like his his career because I know for a fact people won't want to give him endorsement again because all these people are endorsement big big companies. They don't want things that would shed their name or give them a you know bad goodwill and all that. I mean this would probably take a toll on his career. I don't know if he would come out and you know strong but then he has said that he has been arrested over times abroad now about 124 times and then he came out out strong so i'm saying maybe i think he will come out strong like he came out in those time when he was abroad another wonderful thing that happened this week in nigeria i can't say wonderful but because it's really causing lots of controversies in nigeria right now is the fact that the federal government has decided to give or to grant the full armies you know an aptitude uh license to have a radio station for the Fulanese. They said these Fulanese have been having issues with the farmers, the airmen, they've been having issues and crisis that has led to lots of lives and properties, you know, that the federal government decided to, you know, create a radio station for them where the program would be held in Fulanese, like in the language, in the dialect, where they would be able to understand and then they would be able to educate them and socially mobilize them, you know, talk to them about different things and how to, you know, settle issues and crises between them in the not you know to get them to stay normal and then have peace between them but other people say that this is just another method you know like former president has said that it's just a, a plot or they're trying to most islamize nigeria or to make nigeria a full state that people are saying it's just another way to make nigeria islamized i feel like they could just create another program for them you know there are other federal radio stations that are available that they could just you know buy radio time for them and just give them an hour or two for them to be able to talk about all these things. Do they need to really go and then create radio stations for them? You know, in Nigeria, there's nothing we we'll never see. Wonders we we'll never see in Nigeria. In Adamawa states, the police in Adamawa has arrested a vulture. Exactly, and its owner. You know, they arrested a vulture. I don't get it. How would you, wait, well, how would you even read the rights for the vulture? I don't understand. Which court of law? Is, it the, is that an animal court of law where they, you know, bring the animal and then ask the animal why you're terrorizing the people in the neighborhood you know you get i don't, I don't just understand it but the vulture and its owner has been arrested in Adamawa state on the claim that the vulture was terrorizing the people or is terrorizing the people in the state the fact that the people cannot or they feel like it's an upbringing of arm and doom to them and then they said this vulture that has been, that is in the police custody has you know at thirty thousand naira worth of meat I don't understand. You arrest somebody and they are still, you know, procuring expenses on behalf of that, you know, that animal with vulture. It is thirty thousand out of meat. I wonder what I want to charge the vulture with, or how the vulture will pay for the thirty thousand animals that's eaten. But this is what is happening in Nigeria because this is Nigeria. <laughs> this is how we live in now. <laughs> this is Nigeria. <laughs> Even animals be criminal. <laughs> Anyways, this brings us to the end of today's wonderful edition of This Week in Nigeria. I hope you had a wonderful time because I had a bath in the studio. Please don't forget to, you know, 
like we all do we all you always at the end of the you know, program please subscribe like right now at least if you subscribe please press the notification button the bell icon so you get to know every time another video is being dropped on this place i am in your hunger i dedicate signing out on junior Studio tv i am your girl please stay safe and please like my boss always says don't do jokes stay away from me till next time i tell you bye bye my brothers and sisters, I want you to put your hands up right now because your miracle is coming this week. If you believe me, let me hear you say, Amen.